this is sailor basha welcome to marine knowledge channel if you are seeing this video for the first time please subscribe our channel so that you will get notification on our future videos today i would like to share some information and videos about uh, on board marine air compressor i will try to give you maximum information about my air compressor it parts how it works what are all the safeties in compressor and uh, I will give you the maximum information give the basic information also please watch the video now we are in uh, main air compressor platform and uh, here we can find five numbers of uh, main air compressors uh, mostly all the ship have uh, maximum two to three compressor but uh, this ship is a very big ship it carry 20,000 EU container and it got a very big engine and the amount of uh, air consumption is quite a bit high so that's the reason they keep uh, five compressor on board this ship and you can find a red color mark of uh, on one of the compressor uh, motor cover and this indicates it's a uh, emergency air compressor that means if there is any blackout on board then this compressor will get uh, supply from emergency switchboard and uh, once the emergency switchboard gives power to this compressor you can start the compressor and uh, fill up the air and uh, start up your plant and this is the indication for uh, any emergency equipments that will be painted in red color and uh, this compressors are all um, air cooled air cooled compressor and uh, this is uh, very easy to maintain and uh, no much complication in this type of uh, radiators because uh, you can see it's all a very fine fins and uh, the cooling effect for this kind of radiator is uh, very nice and uh, mostly the maintenance part is also very easy and uh, i will take a bit closer look of uh, the fins so that you will get an idea of how the fins looks like yeah you can see it it almost looks like a car radiator only and uh, you can do water wash or air wash for doing any maintenance and uh, i'll give you a separate video for doing maintenance for this radiator and uh, now we see some more interesting things about this compressor this compressor is a three stage air cooled compressor and uh, here is the first stage valve and this is your first stage suction filter and this is your first stage uh, cylinder head and we got two of this see one more uh, cylinder head and one more uh, suction filter and this both will be coming under first stage and we'll go to the second stage and this is your second stage cylinder head and uh, next will be this is your third stage cylinder head and each cylinder head has a suction valve and discharge valve this kind of air compressor doesn't have a separate suction and discharge valve and here uh, both uh, suction and discharge valve are incorporated in one valve and this is your main air compressor motor and that's your motor nameplate detail and uh, we will have a close look on uh, nameplate detail yeah, it's a higher motor okay then now we will see the operation of uh, this three stage air compressor okay this is your suction air filter and uh, this is your uh, first stage cylinder head which incorporates both first stage suction valve and discharge valve during operation the suction valve takes air from the atmosphere through the suction filter and deliver to the chamber and this chamber it will allow the air to flow through the air cooler in order to remove the heat and the reason for removing the heat is to improve the density of the air so the outlet of the air cooler will be the suction for the second stage valve and the discharge of the second stage valve will again go to the cooler again the air is cooled the density is increased more and the outlet of the air cooler will again comes to the suction side of the third stage air valve 
you can see the outlet yeah it comes to the suction side of the air valve so the discharge will again goes through the come through the cooler and the cooler outlet will come and it passes through the drain and goes to the main air bottle now it is very clearly understood that uh, each and every stage the air is passed through the air cooler. This is to increase the density of the air which is compressed in each and every stage. Okay, now we see the other safety things which is incorporated in this compressor. So you can find a thermometer which shows the temperature of first stage air you can see the number indicated number one that is uh, first stage and you can see a thermometer in uh, second stage also it is your second stage uh, thermometer you can see the number two okay this is your uh, second stage uh, pressure gauge which indicates the pressure of uh, air during second stage and this is your uh, third stage pressure gauge and this is uh, yeah this is your lube oil pressure gauge which indicates the lube oil pressure during compressor operation and uh, this is your uh, lube oil pressure switch which cut off the compressor when the lube oil pressure drops this it's a safety for the compressor and another safety is your uh, high temperature uh, switch if your uh, outer air temperature is more again uh, the compressor will get tripped by this pressure switch this is also a safety for this compressor and this is your uh, dipstick to know the oil level inside the sump and this is your uh, crankcase door and uh, this is your drain valve if you want to renew the compressor sump oil you just need to open it drain it open the crankcase cover put a new oil and uh, the job is done now yeah this is your uh, third stage uh, condensate drain and uh, next will be your second stage condensate drain so this will be an outlet of your uh, second stage and it is operated by this solenoid valve both the both the condensate are operated by the solenoid valve each condensate drain has its own solenoid valves both uh, both the condensate drain will be kept opened by the solenoid valve during the initial startup of compressor this is to avoid motor getting overloaded during uh, initial startup so the condensate drain will be kept opened by the solenoid valve and once the motor achieved normal operating current then the solenoid valve will close the condensate drain and normal compressor operation will be carried out now we will see some more safeties for the air cooler air cooler have two safety valve one on the top and uh, the other safety valve will be the bottom yeah here you can see one more safety valve okay now i want to show you the air pipe uh, outlet of each and every stage will pass through this uh, air pipe which is uh, fin type and uh, each and every stage outlet compressed air will pass through this pipe and get cooled uh, by atmospheric air and goes to the next stage and this is your uh, the red color cap is your uh, lube oil filling pipe and uh, i believe i had given some basic information about uh, marine main air compressor if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching guys thank you all